Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You watch a high tide jet, ride the tide and subscribe today. Talking about the Golden State Warriors, the Golden State Warriors. I remember thinking even before they won last year's championship, I remember when they had that season where they just lost every game because everybody was injured. They ended up drafting James Wiseman. That's when I thought the Warriors were done. And then they come back the next year and win the whole damn thing. They win the championship. People are getting back to that feeling just because they got eliminated by the Lakers. I mean, well, this feels a little different because there's a lot of moving factors in play. Starting with the GM, the guy who assembled this whole thing, Bob Myers. I don't know. It seems like he might be done at Golden State. He's the one. He's the mastermind behind all of this. And if he leaves, then what? Does that make everything fall apart? I mean, when you think about hiring Steve Kerr, drafting all these players, the trades, it all leads to championships at the end of the day. Not every single year. I don't think there's a team who wins every single year, but I mean, they've won a lot of championships since Steph, Clay, and Dre have been there. When you think about the younger players like Jonathan Kuminga, Moses Moody, Jordan Poole, at what point do they get fed up? Specifically Jonathan Kuminga, because he was drafted pretty high. There was a point in time where people thought he was going to be the number one pick in the draft, and he never gets to play. <laughs> Like, you're throwing all this money at all these other players, all this playing time at all these other players, which, you know, at the end of the day results to winning. So it's not necessarily the organization's fault, but he might, you know, reach out to his agent and be like, hey, uh, I'm gonna get paid barely anything because I never got the chance to showcase myself. That's one of the biggest questions is Jonathan Kuminga. I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. Now they're starting to talk about it, like Sham Sharania spoke about it today. Kuminga could reportedly be moved if the Warriors can't find a place for him in their rotation. And Jordan Poole is also reportedly a cost-cutting candidate because his four-year $140 million extension doesn't kick in until next season. That's a huge contract. And you know the Warriors, they don't care when it comes to the young players. <laughs> I mean, look what, what happened to Wiseman. Well, that makes sense because he was always injured. You know, if it doesn't result to what they potentially could think could be a championship, then they're just gonna pull the trigger and keep it moving. Steve Kerr is in his final year of the contract. Is he gonna stay with the team? Are they gonna figure out a new deal? Bob Myers, the last day on the contract is June 30th. Is he gonna stay or is he gonna leave? And if he does leave, is he going to continue being a general manager for another team or is he going to take on a different endeavor? People think, oh, when Draymond punched Jordan Poole in the beginning of the season, that was the beginning of the end. I don't really agree with that. I mean, I do think there was friction within the organization, within the players, just like any other team. If that video never came out, would the story ever come out? I don't know. There's always like, oh, well, if they have to get rid of somebody for salary reasons, they should get rid of Draymond. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Because it just so happens that all the championships the Warriors won, Draymond was on the team. He does more than people think. I would not get rid of Draymond. He's playing similar to the way he's always played, so I haven't seen a decline yet. Clay, you can't get rid of Clay. You can't get rid of Clay. You can't get rid of Draymond. You can't get rid of Steph, obviously. They're not there yet. I mean, I get wanting to think about the future. I mean, Jonathan Kuminga, Jordan Poole, he had Wiseman, got rid of Wiseman. Moses Moody. I mean, at some point, I don't know if they're just going to put all their chips into the veterans and just build around the vet veterans to try to win another ring. Or is there going to reach a point where they're like, hey, guys, so, you know, Steve Kerr is leaving, Bob Myers is leaving. You guys are getting older. We're going to focus on the, the youth and then uh, we'll send you guys to whatever team you want to go to. I don't think they're there yet. I mean, I don't think they're there that far off from getting there, maybe like two or three years but definitely not this upcoming season. But anyways, very interesting stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you a Warriors fan? Are you not? Do you think everybody will just stay and it'll just be perfect ending, fairy tale ending? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. More videos on the way, and I appreciate y'all for watching. And, 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 and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.